Alright guys, welcome back to another video and the first thing I want to show you guys how to do is I want to show you a couple different options of how you can fit text inside a cell. So the reason I want to show you guys this is because right now just looking at this worksheet it's annoying me because we have a lot of white space in this data and the reason that we have it is because okay as soon as I start the tutorial I swear everyone for some reason starts texting me and it's really annoying I'm probably gonna drop kick my phone if I get one more text alright so the reason that we have this white space is because these column headers or the column titles they're a lot longer than the data itself and it's annoying me because I can't fit everything inside this one window some of its to the right hand side and I hate scrolling so what we can do by default is we can just go ahead and take each of these columns and shrink them down a little bit however we have another problem that we just created the column titles or headers are now cut off so what if there is a way to get pretty much the best of both worlds well my friends there is if you ever click on I don't know find the longest one I think is this one calories from fat go ahead and right click the cell and hit format cells now remember this is the dialog where we were formatting numbers so we can either add the decimal places or change it to a currency format however what we are worried about right now is this alignment now you can align the text in your cell in a couple different ways we already know about one type of alignment and that is like pretty much if you ever were working with a word document Microsoft Word you can align text left center right that's what you do in this first little area right here however what I want to talk to you about is this text control right here this is pretty much where you set how exactly text is going to fit inside a cell so what we can do is check this wrap text right here and hit OK now check this out whenever I scroll in and I edit the cell right here instead of just minimizing this and having it cut off it actually wraps and I'm, I'm not like boom, dun, dun, boom, boom, check it out I'm talking about like it it moves to the next line so this one is unformatted so whenever I shrink it actually I formatted that one as well accidentally but basically you saw before what it did is instead of cutting it off now it just pretty much moves it to a new line so that is one way that we can pretty much have the best of both worlds where all of the content inside the cell still displays but at the same time you get rid of a lot of this white space right here pretty sweet now another thing that I want to show you guys how to do is how to merge cells actually before I get to that I'll show you guys one more thing if you format these cells again and click alignment you can actually click shrink to fit and what this does is instead of just cutting it off the smaller you shrink it the text size or the font size actually shrinks accordingly so again it doesn't wrap this one isn't formatted but this one is so this is actually a good uh, um, comparison so you see how whenever I shrink this the font size is shrinking that is the difference between shrink to fit wrap text and of course if we have none of them then it just cuts off by default so anyways as I was saying that was just a you know a nice little tip what I want to talk to you guys about now is merging cells so whenever you merge a cell actually let me go ahead and open up another since this isn't I don't really have anything here I can merge alright so don't save that let me open up crime right here so go ahead download crime if you want to follow along um, you actually don't need to download it because this is going to take like two seconds alright so merging a cell basically means take two or more cells and combine them into one so this is actually merged right here so let me unmerge it real quick unmerge this real quick so for example this what you're looking at right here is pretty much some crime data for different 
um, different races it looks like. So these are the crimes. These are different races. And this entire section right here is all the total arrest information. Now this entire section right here is the percent percentage information for each crime. So what I want to do is actually take this total arrest and have it span across all of these cells right here. So what I can do is actually copy this and paste in each one, but then it's going to say total arrest five times. So that's going to be kind of dumb looking. So instead of just having five different cells, what I can actually do is select all of these and go up to the top under my home tab alignment and I can hit merge and center guys you guys are going to be using this all the time what it does is it combines all of these cells together into one big cell and also centers whatever text was inside there so I'll do the same over here so you see that we have this cell this cell this cell this cell this cell well we actually want to combine all of these so I'm gonna select them all hit merge and center and it takes whatever text was in that first cell, combines all of the cells I selected, and it centers it right over. So now instead of 10 cells, I have two nicely merged and centered cells. Now as you saw at the beginning of this little example, this merge and center, it actually acts as a toggle. So if you ever want to unmerge it, just click on the merge cell, click it again, and it unmerges it. So unmerge those and then merge them back.